Welcome to the new generation of self-made automatical engineers who are rewriting the rule book on aviation, mostly by tearing it up and replacing it with YouTube tutorials, recycled materials, and undying belief in the impossible. These aren't just tinkerers. They are inventors with dreams bigger than their budgets and stories that feel like blockbuster scripts stuck somewhere between a Marvel origin tale and an episode of Pimp My Aircraft. Somewhere in the peaceful green hills of Kericho, Kenya, an engineering student has declared war on gravity with absolutely no formal training in physics. His homemade helicopter starts up like he's trying to crack the earth in half and sounds like it might be coughing up its final breath every time the engine spins. The ignition alone sounds like a ritual to summon an earthquake. From the outside, the aircraft looks as if it lost a fight with a junkyard, bare skeleton, and almost shy in its nudity. It gives Stone Age technology vibes, and the bed looks like it could jump off at any moment just to teach the pilot a lesson in humility. Okay. Tech specs Rototype Shaky but hopeful. Bodywork It's optional. It's like someone asked. What if Alon Moore had a dream? And the result is this gorgeous mechanical madness. Yet, despite the obvious shortcomings, the ambition is palable. This helicopter might not lift off, but it definitely lifts spirits. So, what do you do when an aviation academy tells you that you are too short to fly? If you are Amelash the Pharaoh of Ethiopia, you build your own plane to fly yourself to your wedding. With a Volkswagen Beetle engine, YouTube tutorials, and a spine of steel, he created what might be the most romantic aircraft never to take off. It looks like the skeleton of a plane dreamed up by someone who only saw airplanes in cartoons. Its wings look like they are on unpaid leave, and the propellers fell apart mid-runway like it was protesting unfair working conditions. Flight manual? None. Still, Amelash is a symbol of passion. His plane might have been grounded, but his ambition soared. This isn't just a plane. It's a love story with wings, half attached, slightly bent, but full of hope. Next, another Ethiopian inventor, Pisea Biene. His aircraft is a blend of DIY bravery and glorious nonsense. It starts with a bicycle wheel and ends with hopes and prayers. At first glance, it might look like a World War II fighter jet drawn by a child, but it's the speech that counts. The cockpit is snug, catastrophic really, and the engine sounds like it wants to call HR. Dual propellers spin like they are still deciding whether they want to work today or not. And the plane's frog-like posture only adds to the confusion. 
control system, manual push, and motivational speeches. The road test involves more than shoving and piloting. And when it finally moved, it looked more like a toddler's first steps than a debut flight. But every moment of the wobble screamed, I dare to dream. Engineer Freddy wasn't satisfied building your everyday budget chopper. No, he created Boeing 254, a Kenyan themed tuk tuk plane hybrid that doesn't fly but demands airspace respect anyway. This aircraft is the physical embodiment of the phrase, fake it till you make it. It has routers, flaps, and even a rear view camera, just in case the clouds are crowded. And don't forget the side mirrors for those crucial midline air changes. Painted in Kenya's national colors, it's a patriotic masterpiece if patriotism was measured in misplaced confidence. Uh, there are people who have already gotten their tickets. We are just about to leave. Tailpipe, straight from Amatatu, which is basically the public transport in Kenya. From the tuk tuk frame to the imaginary takeoff procedures, this thing looks like it could go 100 km per hour backwards before it ever lifts an inch of the ground. But in his mind, it's already soaring through the stratosphere. Ah, the Zimcopter. Built by Zimbabwean inventor Daniel Chingoma, this helicopter might not fly, but it definitely breaks hearts and possibly a few laws for physics. That's Zimco Zimcopter. What a beauty. It's a beautiful thing, as you can see. Featuring parts from a Toyota, a V8 engine, and an imagination of a kid with a box of Legos, the Zimcopter is part dragon, part industrial blender. It has breathing holes, maybe for the router anxiety, a Swiss cheese roof, and a body so Frankenstein you'd expect lightning to strike it into life. The router is more wishful thinking than engineering. And its only actual liftoff was courtesy of a crane. Daniel even built a mini chopper to show how it was supposed to work. It's like a PowerPoint presentation in 3D. <laughs> So, whether it's a tuk-tuk with wings, a helicopter with straight fright, and a romantic beetle engine wedding jet, these inventors represent the raw and polished brilliance of African invention. And who knows, maybe tomorrow, one of these backyard blueprints will finally take off, powered by ambition, stubborn bolts, and sheer will. Keep your eyes on the skies because Africa might soon lift off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, leave a like, share with your friends, and also remember to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.